Transportation that all transports us to a place of glory always. Like he moved the Philip to a new place after he has finished the first work. He will do so for you this morning. Hallelujah. He will transport you. He will transport you into blessing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We magnify you, Holy Spirit. The comforter. Thank you for not being far from us ago. That word that came in let me just work on one verse uh, 16. It says, The comfort I should have comforted them was not to move far from them. That was a very powerful word that came yesterday. The comfort that I give them comfort was not to move far from them. So they were crying. But we thank God that He's here with us. Hallelujah. He's here with us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Please have your seat. Hallelujah. I'd like to read Psalm 63, or 66 rather, and verse 3. This is the, uh, we're talking about dealing with the power of Yahweh Yahweh's power say unto God how terrible art thou in thy works yes. through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee yes. Continue. all the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee they shall sing to thy name come and see the works of God mm. He is terrible in his doing Hallelujah. toward the children of men. That's okay. That's all. So, why are we stretching ourselves to keep praying? It's because our life will have no value without power. Because your oppressor has power to oppress. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 1. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 1. That's why we are pressing in power and keep praying midnight prayer, you are prayer praying in church praying, you are pressing into power growing in power because your life will have no meaningful value without power you will grow in power that's why when that demon of death wrapped me up in the bed, I didn't pray I told him I, told him, I know who you are but when you are tired of staying here you will leave because you can't take what is in me it's called what? eternal life the, guy, the, the spirit was offended it was, it was insulted. Then he left. I didn't, pray. I, I didn't wait. I got out. I didn't sister pray. Fast no prayer. No, 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 no. We have passed that rep. I've grown to that level where death can't tell me as you go. So I told him, when you are tired of rope, rapid me, you go. That was an insult to him and he left. So as you grow in power, eh, things, you can't make beautiful things on it. So you grow in power. That's why we are always praying. That's the power. Sometimes in midnight prayer, you were asked to use your tape to sleep sometimes. I do that myself, my tape, or any of the tape of my, of my, of my uh, mentors. But mostly my tape, because I'll be here, my voice will be going around the house. So I do want to pray, that's what it means. I can set the tongue spray, I go like that. The days I, I pray only for one hour, maybe I'm very tired, I have to pray only one hour for midnight prayer, maybe, maybe a few minutes to quarter to, to 12 to quarter to one, and you just feel tired. So I have to back it up with um, if I'm very tired in praying, so I have to back it up with the once it's played, you have wonderful dreams. So the reason why we press in power is because 
you your life will be actually be the water power as a Christian. So he taught them for three years and said, please tarry here. Go and wait for me for the power to come. Until you are deeper. And it's continuous. Because it asks for when the power was deflated by insult, by attacks. They began, they, they began to go there. Began to go there. So they, they regrouped again. And prayed. And they were refilled by the power of God. Then what happened? Science began to happen again. So, there is no meaningful Christian life without power. No. All my life I pray because I had attacked my life. All my life. I'm a little boy. I, I, the first verse I heard was, you will die. I woke up in uh, far back Orion, and I put it. And uh, the voice came to me and said to me, you will die. I began to cry. I was, I was the big cube. My friends were in the main house. So I was crying this morning. Oh, little, I think I'm less than 10 years. And then, after, as I was crying, something wrapped my body and came to my ear right here. I said, You will not die with it. These voices those are like. Those two voices are like. But I know one was evil, one was good. So it takes God to know the voice of God. You have to be trained to know the voice of God. That's why I say we pray, we pray, we say, Lord, we block our ear to the voice of the stranger. Open the door. So, 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 we we'll take it, so we we'll block it, so we don't want to hear at all. So, we are pressing it to power daily. You are worshiping it, you are praying in tongues. Not because you feel like, no, you're, we know our life will not be meaningful without power. Yes. So, if I was the one looking for a job that day, I went to that next to food. I have, to, I have it already. Why? Power. Don't give me that meaningful word, power. Because I went with an angel of the ministry. Because since you are, let me go and show you that I can give it to you. So, why do I do this an angel? The same thing that happened in Acts 12. What happened? The gate opened in his own accord. So, he followed me. That's what it means. The person I said to me, how did you enter this company? I said, I don't know. He said, I said, don't call. I want not need the job. He said, no, how did you enter this, this company? This next food company. So, we told their security, well, I beat it. The, you know many people on the gate? With the uniform, security, there were eight on the gate. Eight of them, mighty, mighty men. I passed that place. They opened the gate. Look, as I was coming, uh, one man with a suit was coming. Enter my front. He's an ogre. I don't know who he is. So they opened the gate for him, and I was behind. So they didn't ask me a question. So it's the power. So your life will have no meaning without power on earth as a Christian. So you have power. That's why I'm pressing what? Power. He says, Say to the Lord, how what terrible are thou? Through what? Your power. They will submit. That's Yahweh. The power of Yahweh. They submit. You know why? It's called the Lord of what? Of Lords. So, when, when it comes on you, you are part of Lord over every war in your life. No matter the Lord that is there. Maybe poverty is the Lord there. Poverty is in charge of the house. Nobody can come here. Walking around the house like this. Poverty. Once Yahweh comes... It comes with the wisdom to be simple. When it comes, if it's a demon, once Yahweh comes, he knows who came. to give way. Why? Once he comes, he lost over. He doesn't fight. He just takes over. He don't contend with Yahweh. He lost over. The, he just lost over. Take over. That's the video. That's what they say. Oh, my father, the Lord, he has the spirit of what dominion. I saw it one day. The day he laid hands on us some years back, when they had to begin to lock the, the gate of the church, because at about eight o'clock the, the church was not finished. It was they were wondering, people were coming from town. They were hearing call, call on the phone. You can't miss that kind of hand in your life. That's what changed my friend's life forevermore. That came with me with his wife. With all they said about their marriage, I'm still walking down to them because something came on him by that hands. So I was hungry, very hungry. So I wanted to quickly get the anointed and, and then leave. So I will enter one line that is close to Papa. Before I get to my tongue, they will scatter the line. When it happened for me four times, God said, you better sit down somewhere now and take this, take this power. My stomach go, hunger. The devil knows what you want to take. So he wants to mess you up. So I relaxed. I sat at the gallery. 
wait for my tongue. My tongue, I, was, I start by 2 p.m. My tongue came by 8.45 in the evening. So I was praying all through. It got to a point when I came down, so when the, my tongue entered down, eh, the ladies, those in one of my room, eh, they couldn't stop praying because my fire was entering them. So we're just talking what they don't know. From my back, everywhere, they fuck me up because it's too. So if you don't enter that line, it will, it will catch you. It's like an alarm. And as I was getting close to him, he kept saying eh, the voice. I was saying the voice. Why does he hear the voice? So as I was getting close to him, eh, I was, the tongue was increasing. I looked at his forehead. As I was getting close, well, I want to hear voice. And as something shined from up on his forehead. Like light from heaven, and when it shined, it entered and it bright. It bright forehead became very bright. I couldn't see it very clearly. Then it now got opened. I saw this forehead a seal on his forehead. I saw it. I, I was blackout. I stumbled. I fell, and it, that's when the hands came moving beam on my head like this. So I, I said, I was scared of the man. I was well, I, said, I was scared. As I was falling, God said to me, "Did he tell you, as you behold, you are changed to glory?" That is a seal on him of dominion. So each time I'm, tra- I'm challenged, I'm praying, I say, my name is Magnat. I'm the son. What happened? The forehead will shake a little. I was telling you, it's, it's, it's still there. Dominion is still there. That's why when that demon came from my village to eat me, I said, you know, I told you, he was struggling. He struggled. He struggled through the window. He entered. After much try, when he entered, he came to me. As he came to me, I don't even know if he me up, but our eye jammed. He stayed on my eyes. As I looked at my eye, I don't know what he saw. He took off. Now, that week before I was fasting and praying for a left from village to, to, to town, I saw him face to face and had a cut out his eyes and fire entered his eyes through my eyes. And that's my eye through his, his eyes. That I went with that power. I would have died. Your life had no bit without power. I thank God for his life. Hallelujah. So again, a dual power. You have power to this world. How terrible are thou gone? With power, eh? they will submit. The power that say we have a job cannot submit. Okay? It will only submit with power. The Exodus 4 verse 1 for me. Read for me. So I returned and considered all the operations that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed, and they had no comforter. And on the side of the oppressors, there was power, but they had no comforter. <laughs> you know the funny thing there? He uh, said they don't have it at all. What's the comforter? The power of God. The Holy Ghost. John 15, 26. When he the spirit of truth that comes, what? Who is the comforter? So the spirit of truth. That's the power of God. So, as long as absent, what happened? There's no, there's no result in your life. What, what do you have? It's tears. What's tears? Why would tears come? Because of the things you are experiencing in your life. So, life has no meaning without the power of God. Because the police power of God, the comforter. What that, what's comfort? When, they, when something comes to deliver from you, you are in the pain, I can, how do I comfort you? By taking away the, the pain. So he comes to take away pain from you. He says, Ecclesiastes 4 verse 1, he said they have no comfort. And the side of what? The oppressor does power. You know what I keep saying? That's one of most of my teachings. Because that's, that is the core of our, our calling. Go and say what? Pepe. What British as a test as a man. That's why they think it doesn't leave me at all. Yeah, you did, you did. You say, you say we are what? Called what? The destroyer. I say yes. If I say Mr. T.D., that's what you are. The destroyer. Because if you don't have power, you cannot destroy. So the pain will remain there. In the side of the one oppressing them without affliction, there was power. There was no comfort. The Holy Ghost in seventh dimension. Eh? We is permitted there to make you to get you free from any trouble. If it's poverty, anything, they are completely making free from that trouble. The power of God. The comfort himself. In seven dimensions for your comfort. Read for me, Lamentations 1, verse 16. 
For these things I weep. Mine eye, mine eye runneth down with water, because the comforter that should relieve my soul is far from me. My, my children are desolate, because the enemy prevailed. My children are what finished. Now it's even if service is cried, both children, if it is finished. Where there's no comforter, that's the power of God, there is what there's torment, there's torture. And in the crusade, we said yesterday, yesterday in the crusade, we said in the crusade, we said there are three dimensions of, of pain: the earthly hell, the common grave hell, and lake of fire. Earthly hell, when you know what it means, when you are into, if you are, the hell, if you are hell, you will know your death, you will know tears, pain, some are held by sickness, some are held by lack of poverty, some are held by all kinds of things. You see, the one that you want comfort eh? is taking what? Are you here at all? Yes. Read again for me. The one that should be of my comfort is not taken away from me. My God. I speak to you today. Whatever makes the comfort leave you is gone from you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, read again for me. Let me, let me. I want to repeat that story again. Hallelujah. For one these passage. things I weep, my eye, my eye runneth down with water. Because the comforter that should relieve my soul is far from me. Is what? Ch- is far from me. My Thank children you. are desolate because the enemy prevailed. He prevailed. There was no power. That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what verse 1. In the side of what? The oppressor of what? There's power. He oppressed all the fleet of the children. In my town, there was a woman I knew very well. It's a witch. I saw the husband come down by her. My God. I used to have the, I still have, as you can see, see the man's picture now. He stays on the wall, on the front. Yeah, it's, I was doing, I'll be seeing me just stay like this on the wall. I'll be seeing from my, uh, from my flat is, uh, from my father's house is a little bit, not too far from there. So you can, from the window, you can see the man. In the morning, he comes on the wall like this. I mean, just looking around before he finally gets ready and go to work. I have a picture of him every day. Before I know he falls down, he's dead. He bought then, as that far then, he has gotten, he bought cars. He want to start selling shoes. They brought his shoe, imported to sell. The woman dropped him. After a while, one of the guys again dropped dead. After a while, one dropped dead. Then the many two, the two main ones. After one again, the main first son dropped dead. After one, the other one driving a, a trailer dropped dead. Hey, that's it. Though the whole sons were finished. When that one that trailer died, the villagers came to town to kill the woman. But that means they know what's happening. They know who to, they know what's happening. It all the men away. Why the man has no power? The wife was not the oppressor. I'm finishing. Your life, all his plans were gone. Life had no meaning if you have no power. Now, if imagine that you, my wife, I was, I was staying with my wife. I mean, the same bed. That thing wrapped me up. Now, if I was, if I was the normal person, when, but I, either he, could, he came to enjoy you, whatever, whatever. It was, nothing happened to me. Because there was only power before he came. Receive power in the name of Jesus. Power. We grow in power. Because life has no meaning without power. You know, that DJ called me. And I was supposed to come and pick it. But that time, I was trying to, was trying to put myself together. Because I took. Last water by 11 p.m. Last, yesterday, the last night. And after that, I have to pray to that too for Alida. So now it was already 5:30. There's no water since that time. I said to my God, maybe this man not get offended that I maybe I don't want to come and carry him. I said, I said I, I, my wife, I told him I can't carry something so You don't understand. The physical man has already gone. What I have is a spiritual man. I don't eat like men. It's the way man, a man should eat. Because if you don't have power, you'll have, you'll have, I have seen war in my life. With, no, imagine with all this prayer. If I didn't pray, I pray, I pray as, as a young boy, yet it's like this. What if you didn't pray? You already, you already you have forgotten. I was crying yesterday. I, they would have forgotten you, grief. Gone forevermore. So I'm going on because of power. You go in the name of Hallelujah. How terrible are thou? With your power, they submit to you. So all the heavy men on the gates of Nestle Food, they bowed. 
Because I came with something to that place. They give way. When they, when they entered the prison of, 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 of when they entered the prison yard of, um, of um, uh, Peter, he was sleeping. He said, get up. He didn't pray. All the chains, <clears throat> they broke. He said, follow me. Every blockage in your life, they are gone in about power. So we are going to grow in power. The power of your way. Lord over. I cut it from Papa. The seed of Tobilio. And I'll die long ago. Each time I'm under serious attack, it will shift on my forehead. My forehead will shake. That means they say that it is still there. My God. It is still there. So you have to kill it before you kill me. That's what it means. Now, I'm not, I, I'm not, you don't need to see the person before you get it. It's believing him. Believe in the man of God. Love him. When I went to Canada sometime, I mean, Honor, Honor Gallery, I don't need to go and see him. As he's coming, I'll be crying. You know, you know, you know, I see a man that is praying. I'm telling you where this is come from. He's coming walking as if he wants to fall down because he has maybe, he has no eating that morning. Can't take breakfast with that kind of meeting. And if, if Papa doesn't want to eat, don't, doesn't want to fast again till he dies, he can't be hungry. If it was, if it was only me, you say you will laugh now. Now nah, because you laugh because you're talking of people like Paul Nietzsche. He can't be hungry, but why is he this? Why is he still doing it? Because life will lose meaning without power. Receive the demon power, power, power. So he's walking. I'm looking at him, and I'm connecting. As I'm crying, so he said to me, "Is value for the man of God? Any man you don't have value for, what he can enter your body, he can enter. He says, he can enter at all. He cannot. He cannot pass enter. Receive the name of power. Receive." Yes, that's why we need Holy Ghost baptism. Just like fuel in a car, that's how Holy Ghost power is in your life. Your car, the car is fine, but it can't move. It's grounded and filled with a fuel. That's how you can be very okay. You know, just like Jabez D was honorable, but this way, say this corner is not going to last. Oh, I need something else. I need a blessing. The blessing is also power. It's also power. And he went to pray. He went to pray. So you need power because they only submit by power. You need power because they only submit by power. And if they don't submit, they will give way. And power will come if you desire it. You need Holy Ghost power empowerment every day. If it's slow, refill it again. Pray in tongues. That means what is what in the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Why must you baptize the Holy Ghost? Because of power. Number one, it is what it's an of what of empowerment. That's it. That's the first one. Empowerment. Luke twenty four verse forty one. Holy Ghost. It's necessary because it's, this, it's the first thing this power he gives you. And we need power. Luke 24 and verse 49. And behold, I send the promise of my Father unto you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until he be endued with power from on high. Do what? And tarry what until that means in your lifetime keep tarrying for power on daily basis so you can grow daily on it because the more you grow the more you take over the more you grow the more you take more territories they will contend in Deuteronomy 2 verse 24 say I have given to you this this and this begin to what begin to contend and take it in power so the life had no means without power you know what he has given you already all the others we are caring for but they will not come to you say we cut them with power. As you grow, you increase. As you grow, this changes. As you grow, this alters because the power altered the Bible. It says, it says, it says God is able to do what? Exceedingly. Only. And what? The power that works in what is you. As you grow, He does more through you. Life becomes more beautiful. 
as he grows, poverty drops dead. As he grows, they keep dropping as he grows. Sarah sees the neighbor. Receive hallelujah power. We are, so it comes by Holy Ghost. Number one, Holy Ghost for, for power. Number two, Holy Ghost is why? Because for, Holy Ghost gives you access to all duties of God. First Corinthians two verse nine. Deep things of God. It John first Corinthians two was open for me, and it John says that he says he will show you things to come. Things you don't know, he will show you. That's the power. Power to see things. Like Ezekiel fourteen, he say the power of God came in and took him up. He began to see things. He was shocked, and that gave his life a meaning. Power came on him to listen. Power to see things is power. Visions of power, visions. But the Holy Ghost baptism, he was a part, and the hand carried him up. As a, and, um, yes, that's um, uh, yes, Ezekiel, Ezekiel forty years, and moved him. He said, "I was the beaten of the heart, and I saw the mass of all." He was shocked. His life had a new meaning. He saw what shocked him, because power came on him and raised him up by the Holy Ghost. First Corinthians two verse nine for me, nine to ten. But as it is written. I had not seen, nor hear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. But God had revealed them unto us by his Spirit. Yes. For the Spirit searches all things. Hallelujah. Yea, the deep things of God. Hallelujah. The secret of power is in God. See, the Holy Ghost show it to you, and you walk in it. You walk in it. Why Holy Ghost baptism? For power, for access to deep things. Number three, for the an enhancement in prayer life. Romans eight verse. So you, you Bible say, "Then goes help it what I infirmity." That same knowledge stuff. Infirmity there means your knowledge inadequacies. Yes, because you must pray the will of God. If you don't have enough knowledge. You cannot pray right there because you don't have enough will of God to pray with. You get the point. He says, he said, he said, was it, is it Hosea for Hosea to uh, for two, seven verse two? He said, take what I and come. Is it Hosea, Hosea 14 2? He said, take words and what and turn to God. Those words are not ordinary words, they are words that Holy Ghost gathered for you. Are you here at all? He said, you shall take words and come to God. You shall take the word and turn to God. You get the point? So this Holy Ghost shows you those words to take. How? In Isaiah 34, verse 3 says, Seek key of what? In the law book and, and what? Get it. Get the word there. My spirit gathered. That means the Holy Ghost put them together. He can bring them together for you to use for victory. So this power of the word of God is by the Holy Ghost that shows you the word of God to use for victory. That's this same power. He, he gives you victory by showing you things. Hallelujah. Yes. So, when you are baptized, it shows you how to use power to get victory. That's why I say, life has no meaning without power. But this same power in you will show you how to get this without victory. How? It will show you the word of God to take. Isaiah 34 verse 16. He say, seek ye. As you go and read the Bible, he will gather them for you. Relevant words. Job says, how what? Powerful what? I write words. So, the Holy Ghost take the right, get the right words for you to use for make war and get victory. Give you a meaningful life. Power. Shows you word to guide for you and gives you to use power. The Holy Ghost power. Both visions, power. Receive the neighbor. Hallelujah. So this thing shows you is what enables you to pray well. Because you are praying in tongues, you are praying well of God. But if you don't have knowledge of what you are praying for, it's a problem. So he guides you to the real scriptures. Is it Hosea 14? Hosea 14 verse 2. Yeah. He said, take words. Before you, before, you can, before you turn to God in prayer, go and take words first. Isaiah 34 says, it's the Holy Ghost that God has for you to give to you to, to use to go and pray. So if you lack word, knowledge, you, you can't pray well. So when he say the Holy Ghost help it words, it means that he will help you to get the right words. You know, if, well, without words, you can't pray well. Because if I pray, God will have a word, that's when he can hear me. So that will, if you don't have it, you can't pray well. So the Holy Ghost helped our what? Family will pray by picking out the right scriptures to hammer the issue and they will fall down. Give your life a meaning. That's what it means. By the Holy Ghost and perhaps the empowerment. He will, he will show you things to come. He will get the right word for you for war. 
We cry. We just got tempted. He said it's written. Holy Ghost gave the right words and they blessed him above us and Satan lived him. So they will not live. They will dwell in your house, your business, if you don't have the right words. Imagine stay with demons in your business. They will not live. They only live by what? By combined right words. They will live. And Satan lived him. You are you are free the neighbor. Hallelujah. He said, and Satan lived him when he had the right words. Combined by the Holy Ghost empowerment, power, visions. What to do? And three, God the right towards to fight war and make have victory. That's why you can life can have meaning when you pray and get answers. That's what is beautiful. If you are praying with answer, what happened? you hope that's what that's that's you are, are you not going to be tired? It's called hope the fire. Hope you are making the heart sick. You are tired. We are free the demon. <laughs> Hallelujah. So Holy Ghost Baptist is an, an empowerment, just empowerment for our victory. Giving life a good meaning, hallelujah. Finally, for fulfillment of what destiny is for what fulfillment of what destiny. If we look for 14. 14. and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, See. and there went out a fame of him through all the, the region. The life became what beautiful. In fact, if you go to John Marxist, eh? When they came to this, this leper in, in, in Galilee, in, in Nazareth, they say that was it. They were, they were, they were angry with him. Who be this carpenter? They say, look at, look at it. That's what they call a carpenter. It wasn't carpenter's son, but he has, he has become a carpenter by learning from his father. Look, look over to Marxist. So, the Holy Ghost power will give you life meaning by what? By, by, by making the enemies to submit to you. It does all, 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 all I'm saying now. Access to the world vision, they are all power to make them make this bow to you. Look at Marxist quickly. The Holy Ghost power in wisdom, the Holy Ghost in seven dimension. They saw wisdom of the Holy Ghost in Jesus Christ. That was power of wisdom. By that power, eh, he thought that God was shocked. From where is this man? Where did he get this kind of thing from? Where did he get it from? Help me read that Marxist. I'm still waiting. From us too. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence has this man distance? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty works, mighty works. are wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter? Is he carpenter the son, the son of, of Mary? They say, Is he not the carpenter son of Mary? The brother of James. We know this guy Bruce. now. And of Judah and look at Simon. It. This is his sister now here. Right? And, and not his sisters here with us. Yeah, look at his sister now. They, they, were, they, offended at they, were, they were angry with him. Where, 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 where did you come from? No. Power has already come. So it's a power. So that power gave his life meaning. He didn't have meaning before as a carpenter. For 40 years, of, about, about, about 30 years, no meaning. They saw him as a carpenter for 30 years. Power came and changed his life. Your life only has meaning with power. Power gives you life meaning. Receive the name of Hallelujah. They were angry with him. Who is where did he come from? Because his life has changed. Receive the name of Hallelujah. So when power comes, his faith went abroad. Things began to change for him. Why? They'll be submitted to him. They'll be submitted to the name of Hallelujah. Man, this like is when Yahweh comes to you, one way to use the Holy Ghost power eh, is what the Holy Ghost power is actually laid of hands. It says in Timothy, verse first Timothy, first Timothy one verse seven, it says, it says to Paul speak to me, it says, stir up what the power in you that came with you by what by laying of what laying of hands. Hallelujah. So hand can transfer power. In Acts nineteen, we saw that Paul met them and they didn't have that kind of baptism. They only had water baptism. They say, ah, that's not enough. You need the Holy Ghost baptism. And I would say he laid hands on them, what happened? And they received what the Holy Ghost baptism. Hands can lay on you, that power comes. It can yes, the power comes. When there's no power, life has no meaning. So it's good to meet people who are higher than you. Your mentors for hand lays. It gives you power to succeed in life. Receive the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Then if if you come to a place of power, like service now. You come regularly. 
Eh? And you can be a Jew also. Someone say atmosphere of power. Someone say atmosphere of power. Hallelujah. So, in that atmosphere of power, you are filled. Let's see something. Some of you start praying. Because something came on you. It's an atmosphere of power. It didn't come not happen at home. But being here, it happens because it's about what power is here. So coming to church empowers you. I'll give your life a minute. Drop this in your life. Somebody came for the night program one day in a fellowship in my house there. Then and Pastor came with her and, uh, uh, and we were there. And he had issues with um, uh, um, uh, marriage. So I saw, we began to pray. The Lord, every every force that kept his wedding garment, wedding camp on the grave, will, will destroy it now. We broke it and brought it out, and she got colorfully married. That means the life, of, that meaningful life of marriage will never happen without power coming down. Whatever you are lacking because of power, receive the name of Jack. Amen. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. So atmosphere brings it down. One of the is the word of God. Someone say the word of God. Ask 10. Hallelujah. Verse 10. You know, you remember Colonius? I would say, why Peter yet speak? What happened? The only thing what fell on them. Why he was speaking? So, coming to church eh, is, is being just being at home and reading the Bible. Sometimes you need to come and hear what will come on you. Why Peter spoke? The Holy Ghost came on them and they were filled and spoken on new tongues. Faith came on them by the word. Receive the name of Trek Power. So you need this thing for meaningful life. You need it. Mysteries of the kingdom. They are revealed by the Holy Ghost. He will show you things to come. Kingdom mysteries are revealed by the Holy Ghost to the apostles. Which will engage for liberty to happen in your life and give your life a meaning. A meaning. Mrs. Fortune in Abuja. It was already finished. If I don't attend, I say, if a pastor forget, just pray that my husband will be at least looking at me for, for other things. For the man, man is already finished. I said, no. If you believe so, all things are what? Possible. So I gave her the mystery of the blood. Keep sprinkling the blood on your house every night. He was sprinkling, he was crying every day for about six months. That woman is, that woman is rugged. He didn't stop. He believed what I said. Why? The sister told her what happened when, she, when, she, when I washed her feet. So a pastor washed my feet. I got a job. I didn't expect that. It's like I actually walked walked through the job. So on that ground now, when he, they, when he said no, that they told him no, he believed. He kept sprinkling, but he was always crying because all hope was gone. But like as he kept sprinkling, the power began to increase. And when power comes, you your life must have meaning, meaning. So the power began, and the blood began to speak restoration. It began to cry. In the house, all the demons began to disappear. So he giant my husband enters the house. Eh? Something happens to him every time. Before you know, the demon departed from the man and eyes open. And what happened today? They were remarried after four children. And they went to court. I say, We're here, we pray for this altar that they pass the Francis And I will say, That thing you lost will come back. He said, I said, No, go, he's gone. And they went to court. That woman gave them all he took from them for them. Mashaka. Whatever your losses is, the name of the power. Hallelujah. The power. It can come back. Kingdom mystery come by the Holy Ghost by empowerment that show you things to come. How to engage them for victory. So it's all about power of the Holy Spirit. Have a meaningful life. Now for time, how do I receive the Holy Spirit baptism? Let me just reinforce on that, on that again. I know I said something about earlier, but let me see reinforce. Now, number one, be born again. Once you are born again, it's a temple of the Holy Ghost in you already when you are born again. Because Christ comes to abode in you. And the Holy Ghost is the Spirit of Christ. That's a song, even when they are born again, that day they start speaking tongues. Because they say, devils that came on them, when they have a place. Something that, that out of village of lovely rivers, what? Living water. Rivers of living water. Because when they gave the light to Christ, something entered them. They opened the fountain. Some will start praying to every day. Acts 2, 38 to 39. Read for me. Acts 2, 38 to 39. John 3, 16 says, Except a man be what? Born again. John, John, John uh, 3, 2 to 3. 
The country must kill me. Say, no, you need to be born again. No? To get this in your, your life. What I'm carrying, you cannot get this in your body again. So being born again, put it in you. Now read, read for me that Acts 2, 38 and 9. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Hallelujah. Is that very clear? It's for you and for everybody. If once you are, once you, once you come here and come, you are part of it. That's what happened when you, are, when you receive the word, the word and believe, you will be saved. Hallelujah. This is very important. Number two, desire the desire it to come to you. As after verse one, it says, Oh, come into the waters. Come by without money. So you must have a test for the Holy Spirit. Desire it. If you don't, if you despise it, it won't come to you. If you scorn, it won't come to you. He because he's a boss. It's called Lord. Lord Jesus Spirit, Yahweh is Lord. He will not come when you scorn him. He will come as a, as a boss. Boss means Lord. Yahweh means Lord of Lords. So you don't get it by just despise. You get it by designing it. Call the prayers for him to come. Please, Isaiah 55 verse 1. Oh, everyone that tested, come he to the waters. Hallelujah. And he that hath no money, come he, buy and eat. Ye come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Continue. Wherefore did he spend money for that which is not bread? Did you hear that? And your labor for that which satisfied no, not. Sir, you get the point? Hearken diligently unto me, Maybe, okay. and eat ye that, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself Hallelujah. in fatness. Incline your ear and it's okay. come. So you say what? If you test, come to the waters. What's water? The Holy Spirit. That's the word of God. The comfort type self, the spirit of truth. The spirit is the spirit side of truth. That's the water there. The fountain there. Desire. Look for it. Prepare for it and look for it. Desire it. If you have it, test. Receive that about the name of Hallelujah yeah. Maroksa. The hunger for it. He said, Blessed are those who are old, do hunger what and travel. They shall be filled with it. If hunger and test to be filled with it. Hunger for it and be filled with power. You need power to make your life better for us. I'm talking about. And that part is your way power. Hallelujah. Ask Jesus Christ what to baptize you. Hallelujah. I'll go to Papa told us not so again. He said to us that there was a woman who said he has gone everywhere to. He, didn't, he couldn't baptize anywhere. He said, I go to many men of God. And I came to Papa. Papa says, hey, You go to the wrong people. You were surprised. He said, What do you mean by that? He said, Because they are not baptizers. Ah. Uh, I read for let us read in the Bible. Let's see what read, read um uh, Luke 13. Luke 11 13. You don't, you don't even to the wrong people. Ah, the woman was surprised. But this man are men of God now. I say no, they are not the ones. Christ what is what? The baptizer, Jesus Christ. Not the pastor. So you have to what? Ask him to what baptize you. Read for me that scriptures. Luke 11 13. If he then, being evil, yes. know how to give good gifts unto your children, yes. how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? So, if you ask him, he gives you. But what the point is, is that's, okay, that's with John. John, John 3. Where John the Baptist, the Baptist says, eh? I baptize the word with water to repentance. But what? He that's coming before me, that's just Christ. Eh? What? We baptize the word with the Holy Ghost word and fire. Baptism of fire is by what? By Jesus Christ. So you ask him to do it for you, and he will do it for you. And when you man ask what happened, before the woman started buzzing in tongues. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I had a pastor friends who was saying they can't pay speed tongues for so many years. So he was going up and down for I said, No, no, you are like you will see the wrong ones. So he came to my house one day. The guy near to me, he was saying that he's a pastor for almost uh, four years. He said, I have no be back. I'll try, try, I couldn't do this thing. I said, come to the house. So he came. I said, now, nah, as I'm speaking, follow my mouth now. <laughs> uh, as he says, that's just what I say, Holy Ghost, just baptize me now. 
He repented and prayed. As he was praying against Pentecost, saying, I said, That's it. He's beginning to say it. And the guy went straight. He left the house, was praying. Rakabaka, Rakabaka. He was just jumping. Received the devil. Hallelujah. So you ask Jesus Christ, who does it? He will give what that empowerment. Life has to be with the power. And that power is what? The power of your way. Hallelujah. That means you load over what? Your situations. Believe that you have received. What happened? By faith. What happened? You will receive it. Believe. Mark 11 24. Believe. Please read for me. Mark, believe. Number one, I say, be born again. Open the fountain of our life in your belly. Be born again by it. Be born again. Desire the baptism or by fire. Have desire. Desire that it will, desire that it's going to come. Just desire it. That it will come. Then ask Jesus Christ to do it because he wants to baptize us, not the pastor. And number four, believe that what you will receive and you receive. Please read for me Mark 11 24. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when he pray, believe that he received them, and he shall have them. You hear? You say, what? Believe what? That what? What happened? You will have them. Hallelujah. If you believe, you're going to have them by faith. And faith comes by hearing, Abi. So, having heard the word of God, it, it will perfect you to believe. And you're going to receive today. Hallelujah. Raise your right hand. Raise, raise your right hand up. up and that's it. Pray briefly. Pray the Holy Ghost if you are only baptized. If you are not beginning to desire for it, Holy Spirit, power is here already. Holy Ghost, power, power, come on me. Holy Ghost, power, please pray. Power, come on me. By the day of Pentecost, power come on me. Like the day of Pentecost, power come on me. Holy Ghost, power, power come on me. Holy Ghost, power, power come on me. Like the day of Pentecost. Power come on me. Hallelujah. Hands will come on you very shortly. Oil will come on you very Holy Spirit oil will come on you for that. Oil will come on you for the baptism power. For the anointing oil that come on you with to bring on Yahweh you. What is the oil is what is Yahweh? Because in Isaiah 61, are you here at all? Walking by Jesus Christ. Eh? It's the word of the Lord. He read the word in Mark 4. And when Samuel took oil, what came on David? What? So you can come by the oil or by fasting what? and prayer. So you can also, f- I, will already, no, I don't think you have to take your breakfast now. So you are still fasting. So you can still pray for it by fasting and prayer and you get the same spirit of the Lord. What's the spirit of the Lord? Of the Lord? Yahweh. Just Yahweh, Abi. Yahweh. He came on God to Lord over. You see, you see the Lord, the word that makes, makes you Lord over, it's, it's, only, it's, it's only here. That power God is here. The power God is here. So the oil and your prayer all brings it down on you. The anointing brings it on you. Power to dominate it. Power to give your life what a meaningful. To have your life a meaningful. Hallelujah. No power, no meaning in life at all. You lose everything in life when you have no power. Power means to show you what to do. Holy Ghost power will show you. It's all empowerment for your victory. To give your life what, life what a meaning in the area of life. Give you a beautiful marriage, beautiful career, all by Holy Ghost power. It comes by the oil of God on you. But what to take note of now? Please listen very well before you pray. What am I to take note of? Hallelujah. Are you here at all? Read for me First Samuel 16, quickly. Please, very important. Hallelujah. We'll take the communion. Eh? Why is it happening? They will not, they anoint you. Why we are taking the communion? I will come on you. And you just, as you're thinking, you are as you just, just start praying from now. Lose yourself, pray. Call for power. Call for power. The coming also is what is to drink into what? Into what? Into the spirit, what spirit of power. 
He said, we drink into what? Into what? One spirit. That's, I think it's that's First Corinthians 12, 12 verse 10. Yes. Same, but what, what, so he's also drinking into, into power. Power. As I took the body, what happened? The color of fire, what happened? His life changed. Power. The community. And the oil comes on you. Don't stop praying, please. Keep praying. Because we're going to change level in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Read for me for that verse 2. First Samuel 16. Quickly, for time. And Samuel said, How can I go? If so, hear it. He will kill me. Okay. And the Lord said... Now, to make it easier, that was Samuel speaking to God. When God says, you go and anoint from Jesus' house. Are you here at all? So he said, He's for here. So we keep Because someone to kill David. He will kill me. Then go down. Go to I think, verse 5. Start with that. I will explain better. Because of time, quickly. And he said, Peaceably, I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Yes, wait, so ask him, continue. Yeah? Sanctify yourselves and come with me to yes. the sacrifice. Yes. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons yes. and called them to sacrifice. Yes. And it came to pass when they were come. Please listen very well. So you can then he looked me. on Eliab, El- Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. Please go back. Read that that's, that's the key point there. Read, please listen very well. Listen. That's, what, what verse is that? Verse what? Verse, verse what? Okay, read, read it again. Please and listen it very came well. to pass yes. when, they were come, when they were come that he looked on Eliab. He looked on who? Eliab. Continue. And said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. The man who mistake. He was judging by what the look of the man. To give position, it's not about the man being high or tall or the man being short. No, in what is by heart, God please me by heart. Continue that scripture quite quickly. But the Lord said unto Samuel, you look, faster. look not on his countenance, did you hear that? Or on the height of his stature, or his of stature, because I have refused him. So he doesn't care by stature or whoever you are when it comes to things of God. For the Lord said not as man seeth. As man sees. For man looketh on the outward, outward appearance. appearance. But the Lord looketh on the inside. Arts. That is why if you come to church, you see empty of company. Your company should be inside toilet. Huh? And, you, and you are shocked. Good morning, sir. He said, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, don't worry. Don't finish. I'll, I'll put flush poop, poop for you. Why is it the church that time? That's how to get power. Because, you see, if you take your stature, no power comes on you. The, the chief judge said what? This time, I'll, I'll not, I'm not, I'm not, I'll, 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 this time, this chief judge, he enter, what, went to the toilet to go and serve the toilet, chief judge, and she became pregnant. Power will not come on you if your heart is messed up. Eat a pure heart to ascend to this throne of power. Read for me, complete for me, hallelujah. Then Jesse called Abinadab, Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. To pass before Samuel. And he said, Neither are the Lord chosen. I didn't take this one again. Then Jesse made Shammah to pass by. He passed again. And he said, Neither are the Lord chosen. All of them have chest too. Heavy chest. Continue. No, no, no. And Jesse made seven of his sons to, to pass, pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, The arrogance and pride had not chosen this. No, he didn't take it And over. Samuel said unto Jesse, Are this? I hear all the all your children. children. He said no. And he said, There remaineth yet the more. youngest. And behold, he, he keepeth the sheep. He's in service. And Samuel said unto the unto He's in the Jesse, place of deathiness. Send Serving and fetch God. him. Go and fetch for him. For we will not sit down. Come on, come on, come on sit down here. Come until he comes. And he said, Shall we serve the Lord? And, Continue. And he sent and brought him in. Hallelujah. Now he was Rudy. Rudy. And we told of a beautiful countenance. Yes. And goodly to look to. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, Arise. Arise. Anoint him. Anoint him. This is he. This is what is he. Oh my God. May God say this. You are, may God say you are the one. Hallelujah. Masalosi. In that company. In your family. Everywhere. Men of chest don't get it at all. He said this one. No, 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 no. I didn't take him. He's arrogant. And seven, seven, seven were arrogant. They're coming. I'm, I'm the one now. Since I don't know, they were coming arrogant. God disqualified them. He said, All you have. He said, No, there's one more. The one I call servant. There's one more. He's a servant. He keeps my sheep. All I say are here to eat and drink. That one will stay in the forest to keep my sheep. He serves me. He works for me. One more. He said, We lost it. Even you lost it now. Or to the cops. And when David came, he was already walking in the bush, keeping the sheep in service. Without service, you can't be aware. I found what? My, what? My servant. 
and I put oil in because of serving me. Someone who is empowerment from God. If you serve, you empower. Serve without arrogance. Serve with a good heart. It says stature. We don't need stature here. Forget about your who you are, your degree here. When it comes to church, cancel stature. Then power come on you. That power gives you life what a meaning. Because stature will give meaning. No, when it, when it matters, it will give meaning. But what happened? The man, professor, was in Germany. No meaningful life. He was finished until he came to church. And he was free from the demons. No meaning. Because power brings meaning in your life. You are about to pray now. To enter a new realm of, of life, a meaningful life. A new realm of it. You have been there too. You have been that spot too much now. You are about to come past to enter a new realm of power. For a new life of meaning. Meaningful life. David, life changed with oil come here. Power came. He served God into power. That whatever. Don't let you have that power. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Against pride. Plead the blood against stature. Plead the blood against arrogance. Plead the blood. Plead the blood against iniquity. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Push by the blood. Plead 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 the blood. Purge myself, God. I purge myself. Plead the blood. 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 Purge your conscience by the blood. Say, purge my conscience by the blood. I drink Yeshua's blood. Smashery Hallelujah. I drink it. Smashery Hallelujah. I drink it. A spirit. Friend. I drink his blood. I purge. Be the prayer prayer. Hallelujah. Let's sweat the kasaka loba is. I drink the blood. I drink the blood. I drink the blood. I drink the blood. I drink the blood supernaturally. I drink the blood. I drink the blood of Yeshua. I drink the blood. I drink the blood supernaturally. I drink the blood. I drink the blood. Push my conscience. I drink the blood. The spirit of Yahweh come on me to lord over. To make my life meaningful. To lord over. Every life issue and circumstances to conquer. Pray the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. And we drink 
Spirit of the Holy Ghost power. And that through his power itself. Go inside his life with his hand. Yes. He says, he said this light shines what? Darkness. There's a light in the blood that shines in darkness. Yes, yes, yes. And fish that it destroys darkness. So my father, my God. My father, my God. As I partake as of the communion, hallelujah, by so I drink into your power today, hallelujah. Drink into your power. One spirit of God, hallelujah. Pray to us as we serve the communion, my Lord. We bless your day. Holy Ghost, Spirit of Life. Holy Ghost, Spirit of Love. Holy Spirit, you are the lover. Holy Spirit, I bless your day. Holy Spirit, you are the loved one. Holy Spirit, we bless your day. Fresh fire. Fresh beauty. 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 My year could fresh fire. Fresh beauty. Fresh fire. Fresh beauty. Fresh fire. Fresh beauty. Fresh fire. Fresh beauty. Fresh fire. Back the fire of Lord. Masiko Labodia. Siku la kosa ya. Siku la boya. Back the fire of Lord. For fresh fire. Oh my God. It's a wonderful month. A wonderful month. Back the fire of Lord for power. Thank you for power. Masheka. Keep bringing it. Keep talking the tongues. Keep bringing it. Don't stop talking. Masheka. Keep bringing it. Mande kulabanda saish. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Man de rokula. Sezukula bandesh. Fresh fire, Lord. Thank you for fresh fire. 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 Go. It is your mind, the name of this is your mind. Go print on the name of Hallelujah. What has any bound before? By the grace of power, you are free the name of Hallelujah. This new realm, go and enjoy the blessing of the new realm in the name of Hallelujah. Every devil's ahead you bound for, they are down the name of Hallelujah. Go and get testimonies, results that will shock you. The name of Hallelujah. Thank you for that prayer, Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Lord, you are holy, holy God, and for...